Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Of all the unpleasant surprises you can encounter while computing, few are more jarring than the sudden blue screen of death. And let's not kid ourselves, that cute little frowny face they added in Windows 8 really doesn't help. What's almost as frustrating as losing your work, though, is the fact that you get hardly any information about why your computer suddenly decided to stop working, like Dennis on a Friday afternoon. All you get is some mysterious error code. Thankfully, TechQuickie is here to save the day with a list of some of the most common blue screen error codes, along with their meanings and some possible fixes. Starting with IRQ, not less or equal, as it turns out, IRQL stands for Interrupt Request Level, which usually means that a program tried to access a piece of memory that was being protected by the operating system for some sort of important task. And since device drivers usually have to access these parts of memory since they interface with your operating system and the actual hardware, this error typically indicates a driver issue. So try updating or reinstalling any drivers that might be problematic. Of course, this could also indicate a problem with the hardware itself, perhaps a graphics card that's aggressively overclocked. And by the way, the related page fault in non-paged area can indicate a similar problem. But those aren't the only messages that indicate a hardware error. If you see data bus error, it, it doesn't mean you have a broken Volkswagen parked in your driveway. Instead, this probably means you have an issue with your memory. So run a memory check utility like Memtest86 Plus, or try simply pulling out one of your RAM sticks and then swapping for the other one to see if one of them has died. I mean, or you can swap out both if you have extras on hand. It's uh, entirely possible that we are single-handedly causing the continuation of the global DRAM shortage. So sorry about that. This may well solve the problem, and if it doesn't, well, it's likely that you have a driver or hardware issue elsewhere in your system. Another memory BSOD, memory management, can often be resolved by going into your BIOS and making sure that your RAM settings are correct. This particular error can pop up if you've overclocked your RAM or if it's not getting the right amount of voltage. On the subject of overclocking, machine check exception, is often caused by a CPU that is overclocked to the point of instability. So try bumping it back to stock speed to see if the error goes away. And then if you do choose to overclock again, be a little bit more conservative, please. But then suppose your memory and your processor are fine and you get an error that says fat file system. Don't get out the exercise bike just yet. Any file system error, whether it's fat or NTFS, simply means that you've got some kind of a problem with your hard drive or SSD. Now this could simply be caused by a driver issue, but there also might be a more serious physical issue with your disk. So if you see this error, back up anything important and run a disk check utility followed by a diagnostic utility like CTools from the manufacturer of your drive to ensure that it is safe to continue to use. Other kinds of disk problems can produce the inaccessible boot device blue screen. That could be caused by a corrupt sector, which can sometimes be fixed by running Windows startup repair, or simply by choosing the wrong disk mode in your BIOS. If it's set to IDE, try changing it to AHCI and vice versa. Of course, there are other errors that don't have super obvious causes, such as system thread exception not handled. If you see this common message or another error code that you don't recognize, see if your blue screen of death gives you a file name that you can jot down before the PC reboots. This can give you a clue as to what driver or program is misbehaving so that you can update, reinstall, or remove it completely. So, we're out of time for now, but let us know in the comments if there's another B-Sod you'd like us to cover that keeps coming back for you like a bad case of the shingles. My roof has shingles. 
You know what isn't like a rash that goes away though? Private internet access. Not only does PIA VPN work on up to five devices at once by hiding your true IP address and allowing you to bypass geo restrictions and censorship by making it appear as though you are connecting from somewhere else. It also blocks unwanted connections to help prevent attacks. It auto blocks all traffic if the VPN disconnects and it keeps your data out of the hands of snoops and advertisers. PIA supports multiple VPN protocols and encryption levels, allowing you to dial in the exact level of protection you need. And they've got apps for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, Linux, and a Chrome extension with support for more platforms coming soon. So check out PIA. They've got over 3,000 servers in 28 countries and they don't log your activity. We're going to have them linked in the video description. So thanks for watching guys. Like, dislike, check out our other channels. Leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future video and subscribe. It's a dream to be subscribed to TechWiki. I dream of it every day.